or the satchel, whatever we carried. Um, this is taken, this has been reproduced by many, many people. Um, this form is one that's depicted on Trajan's column in uh, Rome. That's, um, what do I use? Well, I'm using it just to carry the kit. It's fairly lightly loaded at the moment because um, I'm not going, uh, I'm not, I'm, I haven't gone full on yet. But uh, inside, I've got the flask. GoPro camera, obviously every Roman had a GoPro. Kitchen kit, knife and fork, <laughs> or at least a knife, and then a spare uh, spare rag. That's so just to bulk it out for now until I actually do a, a functional marker. I'm going to have food in there. Um, actually, what we'll do is we will wrap this clay pot in it. This is a clay pot from Iraq. Kurdistan to be precise, that Erbil on the market. It's quite handy for carrying all your Roman food in, as the Romans would have done. It's a clay pot after all. There we go, let's just put that in there. I can put this so I can hang it on the outside for a bit of bling. Might do that today. And here we've got the goat skin. Uh, Roman tents. And mostly all of their, their leather, including this, is, uh, well, most of it, is made out of goat skin, leather. They predominantly use goat skin for whatever reason. Probably cheap and affordable. Goats must have been uh, to a penny back then, I'm assuming, if the military were going to use them. As everyone knows, the military always goes for the cheapest equipment available. <laughs> Some things never change. Um, there we go. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd put that on as an extra feature. And then we'll tie that in so the goat skin will go in the bag for now. Just makes it easier with a flask so it doesn't rattle around. Tie that up. Oof, I don't want to put the GoPro in there, although I'm going to carry the GoPro initially, so I'll leave that out. There we go. Okay, I've just undone the two straps. The two D rings here are these two rings. They're handy. I've, I've looped the strap through them, so all I do is I just hang it off the uh, off the cross. Like that all goes through, and then tighten it up, and that's it. <laughs> then got the cloak bag. It's got a Roman cloak in it. It's a wool cloak. I won't get it out for now. I'll do that at a later day. So yeah, we're just going to sit that on the cross brace, and then here, take a bit of trusty rope. And then just loop that over and tie it around the uh, the cloak bag. Secure it. It's gone a bit awry. There we go. Okay, that's my equipment tied up. Yes, I can hear the purists screaming already. Uh, that's probably not, it's not all completely ready. Yep, there's not food in there. There's not uh, another spare tunic, another equipment, but you know, this is my second, sorry, my third March. So, uh, you know, I'm still sort of getting used to carrying it. And then as, as we continue, I'll try and build up the weight along with the distance make it more and more realistic um, so yeah I'm breaking myself in gradually <laughs> okay net bag just a small detail this is this is another observation I think which is on Trajan's column I'm oh, sorry on, on one of the uh, the carvings on on Trajan's column is um, is a net bag that seems to be hanging off the furka and obviously I thought I'd do it uh, I'd do it on a by making my own net bag mm. Not great, okay. 
So any net bag specialists out there, feel free to comment on this. But yeah, for now, this is it. Hang on the side, probably probably put bread in it or something, I don't know, whatever you find. Um, did it have a use? Maybe it did, maybe for trapping or even for fishing. Just in the obvious, uh, the obvious reason. But yeah, there you go. So that's a fur cap, ready to go. Two pillum, which is my weapon of choice. 